Let's come into mountain pose, feet hip width apart, sitting bones down, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, activate that core. So ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Spread your toes out, get connected to the surface beneath you, and don't forget to breathe. Take a few moments getting that inner centering for your yoga perspective, noticing your body today. And then as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then exhale and clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back, but don't lift your chin too high. And then pivot at your hips, come on over. Exhale all the way down, spread your toes out, lift your sitting bones. Move your chin around a little, neck releasing. And then bend your knees slightly, tuck in the chin just a little, and start at the bottom of your spine, coming all the way back up into that upper body, back bend. Shoulders dropping, head reaching away, and don't forget to breathe. And on an inhalation, come on up, releasing back into mountain pose, adjust. Noticing your body's response. And again, arms and shoulder up, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Again, press the fingers down and lift into the back bend. Exhale, pivot over. Just let that back move as deeply as it wants into that forward position. And again, just stretch everything while you're doing it. Knees bent again slightly as you come back all the way up. And another upper body back bend, dropping the shoulders, stretching the head. And don't forget again to breathe. Inhale upright, release your arms, and focus inward, noticing what's going on internally today. And we'll do our side stretches. So let's bring the arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp them, bring them back by your ears and stretch. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, sitting bones down. Crown high, everything facing forward. And lean over to one side. Push the front, you're leaning away from down. And get those ribs stretching apart. And make sure your shoulder isn't leaning forward. So getting those ribs really nice and stretched. And then inhale up, keep the shoulders down, switch the hands, and again, arms by your ears. And again, stretch it out and lean no twist to the opposite side. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Feel those ribs stretch as you push the foot down and the hands away. Take a breath or two and just relax. And then inhale upright, shoulders still down, bring your arms to shoulder level, and all the way to sides. Shoulders back and down, just take a moment feeling what's going on through your whole torso, lateral spine motion that most, but we're going to twist this time. So remember, you want to really stretch the spine apart for this one. Arms at shoulder level, shoulders go down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and clasp the elbows. Stretch the spine apart. On an exhalation, turn to one side. Take a breath. And as you exhale, give it on over in the twist, keeping your weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Spread your toes, lift the sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, and just deepen as much as your body lets. And then on an English, Stay in the twist as you come all the way up and lift your heart. So remember, upper body only when you're back bending while you're twisting. Take a breath, shoulders relaxing, elbows reaching over. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, bring your hands next to your ears to you stretch your spine apart and turn to the opposite side. The breath in, exhale over, and again, just deepen as far as your body wants on this side. 
Keep your arms by your ears, lifting the sitting bones, relaxing through the neck and shoulders. And on an inhalation, stay in the twist all the way up into your upper body back. Take a moment, breathing, stretching, and relaxing. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, extend those fingertips up, extend in that. Sink evenly into your feet, spread the toes, feel that support. Sitting bones down, get that core active, and stretch up through the crown and the fingers. But remember, shoulders down. Take a moment breathing, feeling that extension. Then keeping your arms by your ears today, push the sitting bones back, stretch on, your roll to the floor if you can. And then drop into ragdoll, just hanging, arms toward the floor, sitting bones lifting, Move your chin around a little bit. Bring your hands behind your legs if you want a little extra stretch or not, your choice. And then bring your hands back to the center. Let's let them hang, knees slightly bent, as again, you work from the bottom of the spine all the way back to sticking. So in your mountain pose, just take a moment to feel over your body and Turn your feet slightly up. Bend your knees and bring your hands above your knees. So your shoulders stay above your toes. And then we're going to, oh, let's do the twist. So stretch your spine apart again and exhale, turning to the side, hips, ribs, and shoulder. So this back hip will turn up a little bit. And then bring your shoulder across and down toward the knee of the opposite leg. So your whole body is turning, looking to the side, the whole spine moving as you do that. Hips, ribs, shoulder. And then exhale, turning back to the center, coming back sort of parallel to the floor, stretching the spine long in the front. So you can again turn to the opposite side. Exhale down, bring that shoulder toward your knee, and the hips slightly up. Take a moment breathing, noticing how your body responds in that twist. And again, exhale, turning back to the center, tucking your chin, landing your back, and come again all the way back up, toward the front, into that pose. Take your hands behind you on your lower back, and fingertips toward your hips. Bring those elbows toward each other, expand across the front of your chest. And then keep your hips over your ankles and lift your heart. Stretch the head back slightly behind you, but remember, don't lift your chin too hard. Keep stretching your neck. Take a breath. Bring those elbows maybe even a little bit closer. Nice supported back bend. Push the head maybe a little further back. And then chin slightly towards your chest to come on back up and release into mountain pose. A little more circulation through the spine. And then stretch the spine apart and turn side to side, another little twist. So remember, always get those bones apart so they have one. I'm going to be doing that twist and then just follow your hands from one side all the way around to the other. Stretch the head up. Exhale, tension. And then turning back to the center, shrug the shoulders up and back and down, just two or three times, letting that neck area, shoulder area relax. And then bring one arm in front, bend the elbow, and bring the arm in toward the middle of your body. Other arm out, palm down, swing it under, Bring the palms together into eagle arms. So pull the elbows down and in and feel that back of your shoulders working a little bit more. Relax. Exhale. Any tightness in those shoulders. You know, switch sides tighter. And then slowly bring your elbows out and push your fingertips up. 
So take as much time as you need, just relaxing it so that everything can move a little bit more. Thumb is kind of right in front of your nose. Shoulders relaxing, keep breathing. And then exhale, releasing your arms, letting your eagle arms fly away, just swinging back in place. Circle the shoulders again. And of course, we need to do that and balance with the other arm. So arm out in front, palm toward the center, bend your elbow, fingertips up, and give it to the middle. Other arm out, swing it under, and again, see if you can put your hands together, or oh, the backs of the hands will do it if you can. And again, pull the elbows down and in, and just notice what's going on across the top of your shoulders. Take a few breaths there, just relaxing, breathing, spreading your toes evenly into the ball of your foot and heel on each side. And as you exhale, really relax the shoulders, push the elbows slightly out, and then raise your hands a little bit more. If that works for your shoulders and your hands. Take a few breaths there, just stretching out across that upper body. Exhaling any tension, thumbs sort of in the middle of your body line. Exhaling and relaxing. And then releasing your arms again, just swing them around, letting everything release and release. And then bring your hands to your heart. We'll look at them and run them towards the ceiling. Keep stretching through your neck, looking at your hands, stretching that head back as you lift your heart. Exhale, hands to your heart, and pivot it on over. Drop into ragdoll, and just hang for a moment, lifting your sitting bones. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten through the whole spine. Shoulder blades towards your waist, always. And then bend your knees and come to the floor into our child pose transition. Feet back and heel, hips on your heels, hands, palms up near your feet, and bring your forehead down toward the floor. Take a moment there, just stretching the back of your body. You can bring your knees together if you like that low back, give you a really good stretch, and then don't forget to breathe. Exhale and tightness. Just feel the whole length of your spine getting stretched. And then inhale it. Sit up on your heels. Slide off and bring your legs out to the front. So staff position. Sitting bones slightly behind you. Core active. Shoulders above your hips. And arms relaxing either in your lap or at your sides. Push out through the heels, toes pulling back, feel the legs getting a nice stretch on the back of the legs. You can pull the kneecaps toward your thighs, tighten the front of your thighs a little bit, and that lets the back of your legs stretch a little bit more. Take a moment and breathe, and warm up the hips a little bit. So go ahead and bring the foot up to the opposite leg, and let the knee come down toward the foot. So let this outside of the hip get a little bit of release as you're in that position. Just exhale, you can add weight with your hand to the knee if you want it a little bit more emphasis, but don't push. Pushing resists and that defeats the whole stretch. If that's still tight, remember you can bring this leg under the side. Take a breath or two, just relaxing, letting that knee just relax down further toward the floor as much as it wants to go. Brown still toward the ceiling, shoulders still toward your waist, and don't forget to keep breathing as you exhale, just relax it. Let it happen. And when you're ready to move it a little more, bring your hand and hands to your knee and foot. We'll wrap your arms around and pull the leg in a little tighter to emphasize it even more. And again, just back and forth, side to side, feeling that rotator getting a little bit more warmed up, a little bit higher or closer if that works for you. But that's more intense, so don't do that if it's wrong for your body. And then releasing that foot. 
take a moment as you get into staff position to notice the difference on the two sides, through the legs, through the hips. And of course, don't forget to keep that core activated, supporting your spine. Take a moment to breathe and do a little bit balancing our arms. So again, put up onto the opposite thigh, letting the knee come down toward the floor, leaving that leg to the front and moving it to the side if you prefer. Adding weight with your hands, but not pressure if you want a little more intensity. Always personal practice doing what's right for your body in your yoga. Exhaling and relaxing, stretching the front, relaxing your shoulders, breathing, letting that knee just do its own thing, coming down as far or little as it wants. And again, when you're ready, moving on, pulling in, move the leg side to side. Feel the outside of the hip getting even warmer and as we do that. Take a few breaths there, staying at that level and making it more intense if you love it, and relaxing into it. And then releasing that foot, take a moment in stack position, noticing your activated hips, and breathing. Bring the sitting arms even further behind you, and then slide the bottoms of your feet toward each other. And lean toward your body, knees out toward the side. Ask your hands on your toes and just let the knees move out toward the sides, getting that inner thigh stretch. Take a breath. Keep the core active. Keep the spine stretching up. And don't forget to keep breathing. And then when you're ready, bring the hands one at a time behind you. Just put a little pressure in the hands lengthening through that torso, and maybe those knees will move down further toward the floor as you kind of rotate the bottoms of your feet toward the ceiling. Just do what's right for your body. Feel it. Relax it. Don't go too far. And then releasing your arms, coming back into your seated position. Feel the spine, stretch it up, keep breathing. Lift your knees and bring the legs back out into step position again. Take a breath or two there and do a couple of seated positions. I like to call these the multitasking watching TV positions. So bring your one foot up to your inner thigh, the knee over to the side. You'll have a little triangle there at the top of the leg. Put the other foot into that triangle as much as you can. As you do that, you'll be in a kind of cross-leg position and it'll give you a little tilt forward. This is called perfect posture because it helps your spine stay nice and straight when you're sitting on the floor. It's a good guru listening to a position for those of you who ever go to a guru lecture. So take a moment and breathe, just relaxing, letting your body do whatever it needs to do to be comfortable in that position. And it is a pretty comfortable position, actually, to stay on the floor in a cross-legged position. So take a moment to breathe, and we'll get rid of that side and do the other side. So go ahead and exhale those legs back out to staff's position. The only difference, of course, so we have to balance and do it yeah, to the other side. But to the inner thigh, finding that triangle, putting the other foot there. And again, it gives you kind of an angle and a pivot forward slightly, keeping that core active and supporting your low back, of course, and the shoulders relaxed and down, and the crown reaching toward the ceiling, just as we do in all seated postures. Take a breath. Exhale. Just relax. And again, just stay in that position as comfortably as you can. And of course, when you're doing your multitasking, watching TV, you're going to hold it longer. But for now, we need to practice something different. So go ahead and bring your legs back out into step position. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale in tension. And then let's, um, let's do cow space pose. This is going to work your shoulders and your hips. It's a little intense, remember. 
So if you need to be gentle with yourself, feel free to do that as we do. Core active, spine stretching and straight, and sitting bones slightly behind you. Put the right knee right in front of you with the foot over next to your left heel. So a little intensity through the hips as we begin, and then take the other knee as much as possible on top. So left knee on top of the right knee and the heels near your hips if that works, otherwise further out wherever it looks for your legs. Kind of breathe and relax and get those hips working a little bit more and releasing a little bit more, sinking both sitting bones as much as possible down toward the floor and don't forget to relax. So we've got the left knee on top, so we're going to bring the right arm out. Turn the palm toward the ceiling and bring your arm above your shoulder. Bend the elbow and put the heel down by your neck. And then push your head back into that forearm and take your other hand and pull it in so that you get it as stretched open through the shoulder and that hand sliding down toward your, your spine. And then take your other hand and um, wrap it around, bending the elbow, and see if you can clasp your hands behind you. If you can, great. Otherwise, just hold your shirt. But keep pressing your head into that upper arm so that you're not leaning your neck forward. Take a moment, breathing, pulling those elbows toward your spine line, and then pushing the upper one up and the bottom one down, and getting those shoulders a little bit more relaxed as we do that. And just notice that as you relax those shoulders and focus there, your hips are probably releasing a little bit as well, letting that sitting bone sink a little deeper toward or into the door. So take a breath there. And of course, you can multitask watching TV in this position. It's a little more intense. And then exhaling the arms, and let your arms just release and relax. And release your legs, coming back again to stay position. Of course, we have to balance the body and do the same thing toward the other side, because that's what we do in yoga. So go ahead, bending the left knee back to the front, heel back by the hip as much as it wants to go. Right knee on top, and again, the heels near each other are at hip level or further at your choice. Right knee on top, so the left arm is out, palm toward the ceiling, and hand above your shoulder. Keep the shoulder down, bend your elbow, bring the hand toward your neck, and slide the other hand behind that elbow, pulling it in, pushing your head back into that forearm. Take a moment and breathe, just fingertips sliding down toward your spine. Wrap the other arm around. And again, see if you can clasp on this side. Some people do one, some people do the other. Some people do both, and some people do neither. It's okay, it's just whatever your shoulders want and need. So we never keep pulling in toward the spine with the elbows and pushing them away. Keep your head moving back into that upper arm so you're not bending your neck area. And you want to stretch the crown high and let those sitting bones sink as your hips release as well. So just deepen into it only as far as your body wants to go. Exhale the tension. Feel everything release a little bit more easily. And then when you're ready, bring the hands apart and unwind those shoulders, feeling that circulation return and the legs. Again, into step position. So take a moment there, feeling the results of your count base pose, and bring your feet to the end of the neck. So again, core activated in staff position, and we'll roll slowly down to the neck. Bring your arms up to T position, feel that shoulders and shoulder blades are released down into the floor, hands, palms up or down. We'll just do our bent knee twist. So sitting bones slightly toward your heels, back pressing down, draw those heels up toward your sitting bones, press the back gently down and lift your feet, knees right over your hips. 
You can cross the leg over if you want a little extra low back stretch or not, your choice. And then roll the knees over at hip level toward the opposite side, turning your head to the other arm. And again, just go knees deeply into your twist if your body wants today. Knees for that lower back, and closer toward the floor. Shoulders staying down for that middle back twist. And head turning through your neck, always only doing what is right for your body, especially in those twists. Take a breath. Just relax and deep in the word twist. Only as far as you need to go. And of course, to release heels toward your hips, and roll onto your back. If you cross that leg over, bring it down, and do the other one. So feet off the floor, and legs crossed or not, knees going at the level over to the opposite side, turning your head toward the other arm. And again, shoulders down, knees going only as far toward the floor as your body needs for that low back twist, and head turning for that upper body twist. Exhale, just relaxing. Allow your twist to deepen only as much as you need it to get. Exhale, relaxing. Remember, you can always put a pillow under the leg if you need to. Just doing what's right for your body. Now, for a few breaths, just exhaling any tension. Throw those heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back, and crossing if you are crossed, and sliding the feet back. Lean into our final corpse position, relaxation. So feet hip width apart, turn the toes toward each other first, and then just let the legs relax. Shoulders coming, sinking down toward the floor, keeping that heart nice and open. Hands palms like the ceiling near your hips. Move your head around, let that neck release today. Just relaxing into a new trigger. Exhale. Letting your body grow heavy and just deepen down into that earth support, letting your body grow. As your body relaxes, just release any thoughts of your body from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to your body. Let them release as well. Let the thoughts drift away. Exhaling and then you need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift in and out. It's the job of your mind to keep producing those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. And at this moment, there's no need to think of your body or any other thoughts coming to your mind. Just let them flow away. And allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Anyway. And just focusing on the peace within, take a few moments of breathing, being peace. And if that relaxation is wonderful today, just keep relaxing as long as you like. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just be enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the one, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you, stretching, gently moving. And when you're ready for your final yoga for the appreciation, Sitting on toward your heels, with your back gently down, lay your knee, heels toward your hips, and 
Back your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga pose. Let your body know you appreciate it's yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up. Anyway, whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.